In this video tutorial, we are going to discuss about anterior lateral system. The anterior lateral system is a part of ascending tracts, similarly as the dorsal column medial laminiscus, which is a sensory pathway. Anterior lateral system is also a sensory pathway. It carries the sensory signals from the skin to the brain. The anterior lateral system is a major spinothalamic tract. Spinothalamic tract, as the name suggests, it ascends from the spinal cord to the thalamus of the brain. The anterior lateral system means it consists of two spinothalamic tract anterior, anterior spinothalamic tract and lateral spinothalamic tract. The function of anterior lateral system is it carries the sensory information of true touch and pressure pain and temperature the sequence of anterior lateral system is same as the dorsal cordon medial laminiscus the first order neuron carries the sensory information from the skin and and transfer it to the second order neuron the second order neuron carries the information from the first order neuron and transfer it to the third order neuron the third order neuron transfers the sensory signals from the second order neuron to the cerebral cortex now have a look on the pathway of anterior lateral system. The first order neuron carries the sensory signals of crude touch, pressure, pain and temperature from the skin and, tra and travels to the spinal cord. Here it, here it synapses in the area known as substantia glatinosa at the dorsal horn of the spinal cord. Here, the first order neuron synapses with the second order neuron and transfers the sensory information of pain, temperature, crude touch, and pressure. The second order neuron transfers the sensory information which is taken from the first order neuron and decussates, means it changes its, its direction from left to right or from right to left. The second order neuron, if the sensory signals is off, root touch or pressure then the second order neuron ascends in the anterior side of the uh, spinal cord this is the anterior side of the spinal cord this is the posterior side of the spinal cord and this is the lateral side of the posterior of the spinal cord if the sensory signal of root touch or pressure is coming from the first order neuron then the second order neuron ascends in the in the anterior side of the spinal cord and ascends and then synapses in the thalamus of the brain with the third order neuron and if the sensory information is of pain and temperature then the second order neuron travels from the lateral side of the spinal cord from here if the sensory information is of pain and temperature from the first order neuron then the second order neuron travels in the lateral side of the spinal cord and then synapse in the thalamus of the brain if the second order neurons travel through the anterior side of the spinal cord then it is known as anterior spinothalamic tract and if the second order neuron travels from the lateral side of the spinal cord then it is known as the lateral spinothalamic tract the anterior spinothalamic tract carrying the signal of crude touch or pressure and the lateral spinothalamic tract carries the signal of pain and temperature then then the second order neuron synapses with the third order neuron at the thalamus of the brain the third order neuron carries the signal which is coming from the second order neuron to the cerebral cortex of the brain it transfers the signals which is coming from the second order neuron to the cerebral cortex of the brain. In this way, the sensory sensation or sensory signals from the skin travels from the skin up to the cerebral cortex of the brain. The brain then integrates this information and tells the body what to do.